would like to uh, thanks and honor to God through the song. The song is about four minutes, so please don't stop us. <laughs> Lisa Kabaw. Uh, this is Zion uh, Kabaw uh, Ganza, and she lives in Houston. She's also a choir director, and I'm Nolin, the heaviest of the four of us. And uh, this is my alleged daughter. <laughs> she is Marian, and she handles the kids' choir here at MGC. Uh, all of us are gifted with music, but uh, one of us is gifted with with uh, with preaching. So we will assign it to her. Uh, <laughs> believe it or not, we are. I'm just speaking because the final one is not ready. <laughs> and not counted. Not counted. <laughs> We are actually very shy. We we, <laughs> we we grew up from a very strict Christian family that uh, we were always asked not to uh, take attention to ourselves. So that that somehow stuck. Uh, so I, my father encouraged me to be a preacher when I was a kid because I'm the only boy. But I would always cry in the middle of something. Even practicing in front of a mirror, I would cry.
I praise the Lord for His faithfulness that is uh, renewed every morning. Musicians, especially uh, choir directors like Nolan, Lisa, and myself, and Marian, we express our feelings uh, through music, through the movement of our hands, but we uh, find it difficult to speak in a situation like this. Singing to us is easier than speaking because we seldom face the congregation to speak. Uh, Nolan, Lisa, and I, we get uh, emotional when we speak, especially myself. So I am a woman of few words, but I'm going to speak for more than five minutes because I will be speaking in behalf of the three of us. So two minutes for each. So that is <laughs> Even before I left uh, Texas, Nolan, Lisa, and I planned to have a, a surprise tribute to our mom. Um, we have all been excited. Uh, even today, our mom uh, is not aware of our plan. She is turning 80 on uh, December 8th. But our plans and excitement were all shattered when a couple of months ago, Lisa told me that uh, she had, uh, our mom had uh, melanoma cancer. And this information, we kept it from her because uh, we, don't, we didn't want her to worry. At least not until she learned the truth when she asked the result of uh, the biopsy. I thought she would get uh, depressed. But I praise the Lord for her deep faith. Uh, early morning around 3 a.m. she gets up and prays and she still sings. Um, last Wednesday was uh, her surgery and when we left her in the receiving area, you know, in the operating room, she told me that she sang uh, Beyond Tomorrow and I, and I said, you did not sing Sweet By and By or Near By God to Me. And she just laughed. Um, our, this is not the first time that our family has uh, faced major health-related uh, challenges. Uh, Nolan and uh, Lisa told me of your uh, support spiritually and financially when Nolan was uh, hospitalized. I don't know why our child's, our child come one year after another. But I believe that uh, all things are possible with God and uh, all things has a purpose, Romans 8, 28. But one thing I learned today, that through the ordeal of our mom, we were able to sing together, this time with Marian. The last time we sang was in 1993. Uh, that was a concert to raise funds for the memorial scholarship of uh, our dad. I hope that the next uh, family member that will join us to sing, nobody would get sick. Uh, anyway, now that I am here with my mom, I have uh, witnessed and uh, really appreciate your goodness and uh, for I praise the Lord for touching your hearts. Your generosity is beyond my expectation. Um, to all of you, those who prayed and gave, the Lord is magnified. To God be the glory.